Now that school is almost over, you can focus on something besides homework. And what better project than fixing up your own room? Hey, I am Gracie Desenny, and today I'm going to be showing you two really cool projects to spice up your room. I am currently redecorating my room, so I found this really awesome fabric, and we're going to be making no-sew pillows, and then taking inspiration from the color of these pillows to make some really cool, practical wall art. So, let's get started. First, we're going to do the pillow. So, I'm going to use this pink fabric because it matches my bedspread, and we'll lay this out here. So you're going to want to fold it in about two inches on the first side. So we will measure it just like that. Doesn't have to be too perfect of a measurement. And then you're going to take your glue gun and you're just going to add a little bit of glue right on the edge. So we have that glue down. Now we are going to flip our fabric over and we're going to fold it over nine inches. I'm basing mine off of a 12 by 12 pillow so you want it about three inches less than what your pillow is. And then you're going to fold it 12 inches back. So we're going to cut it right there. And now we're going to cut it 13 inches this way. So this is the base of our pillow. We are not going to be using a sewing machine. We are going to be using staples and tape because everyone has staples and duct tape. You're going to go along the two edges that you cut and you're going to want to staple those down. You want to make sure you really press into it so the staple goes all the way through. Switch sides and do it on the other side. Now we're gonna take our duct tape and rip a piece a little smaller than the pillow. Right over the staples, flatten it down, flip it over. Other side. And now we're gonna turn it inside out. Now that we have our pillow cover, you can either put the pillow in there or you could add some decoration to the front. I found this really cool ribbon. So I'm actually gonna make like a fluffy pillow. You're just gonna measure it across and then cut off the leftover. Gives it that fluffy pillow effect. You know those pillows that kind of look like animals? One of those. <laughs> I'm gonna use about six of these to cover the entire pillow. And make sure you glue the sides first and then go back after and tack spots if you need to. The good thing about using a glue gun here is it's so fluffy, you can't even tell where you put the glue. Now we are going to put our pillow form or you could just use a pillow that you already have in your house. We're just gonna put that in there. All right, there we have it. It's really cute. So now that we already have the pillow, we are going to be taking inspiration from the pillow colors to make some awesome wall art that's also very practical. So you're gonna take a plain cork board. Ta-da! And then we are going to take our painter's tape and we are going to make a design on the board. I'm going to do a thin strip vertically and then I'll do another strip horizontally. Really press them down so none of the paint gets through and they don't stick up. And now it is time to paint. So since my pillows are pink and orange, I'm going to paint these pink and orange tones. I'm going to make this one a light orange. We're going to take a little bit of water and mix it in with the paint. Now we are going to take a roller and dip it in there. And now you just paint it. Don't worry about being too clean with the paint because it will look even when it dries. This kind of looks like a number two pencil, doesn't it? I just love number two pencils. You could use a paintbrush if you wanted to, but these are just so much fun to use, so I would go for one of these. All right, so we have a couple coats on here and we're gonna let it dry and be right back. So it is all dried and it's time to take the tape off. So you're gonna wanna find your end and then just pull off. So now you have a bright, fun, functional piece to put on your wall, and all you have to do is add your own memories. I want to see your room decoration inspiration, so send me a photo on Instagram or Pinterest with the hashtag to die for. Maybe I'll take inspiration from one of those for my next project. I can't wait to see your pictures. Have fun redecorating, and I will see you soon. Bye! There's on the glass. <laughs> so you can just fill it with pictures you have of you and your friends and then give it to them and they can put it in their dorm room. <laughs> nice high school memories. Thank you, Sierra, for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me.